Hello and welcome everybody. Thank you for joining me today. So I'm going to be looking at the Stampin' Right markers. Uh, it's Friday night and so we kind of go a bit more chilled, go a little bit more relaxed. And so I'm going to be using the Stampin' Right markers just to show some techniques that you can do with them. I like to do this once in a while because I know that there are some folks out there who are perhaps new to card making, new to you know, using stamps and you know I know that not everyone can afford to buy the whole lot of inks in one go but you would really like to have lots of colours at your fingertips so purchasing the markers I'm going to show you in a second but I'll just quickly show you them now uh, I, I do have the whole set um, buying the whole set of markers is a little bit cheaper than buying a whole set of ink pads when you think that ink pads are seven pounds each um, so seven pounds times 50 you do the maths it's it's a lot of money but you can buy a set of markers for I think it's about 120 pounds now I don't recommend you have to buy it that way uh, you can buy them in color families and to be honest a set of the brights would probably you know you you do a lot you'd be able to do a lot with those so hello everybody on the live I'll just say a quick hello before I get started and um, this tonight's class is probably only going to be about half of class tonight's tutorial is going to be probably about half an hour long because I've got to be up to take a class in the morning um I've just been enjoying some time oh no this evening I wasn't enjoying time with my kids so much although uh we found an old little disc of uh, video of Luke when he was a baby and of course you know we had to, the girlfriend's here so he had to see see the videos of him when he was a baby but I also had a friend around who he uh, bought a new computer so I was just trying to set him up on that so you know that took up a bit of time so hello Elaine and Annie and Monica and Mary and Shaz and Anne and Vicky and Bev and Susan Kathy, Sue, Stranger, Amy Davis, welcome. So some of your names are not so familiar with me. I'm, I'm, I know there's been quite a few of you who've joined me in the last few months. You're getting to know my channel. And so some of you are not, you know, quite, uh, what's the word, confident enough to say hello on the live. Please do. We don't bite. Uh, we, we're a bit nosy. We like to find out where you guys are from. Hi, Janice. I want to know where Janice has been today. Janice is on her adventures. So there we go. Hi, Roberta. Hi, Cindy, Elaine, Denise. Oh, thank you, Denise. Yes, I just read your comment just as I was about to go live. So I'm sorry I haven't responded to it. Right, let's get our heads down then and, and see what we can see. So there we go, just switching my main light off. So I've grabbed a few stamp sets that I would recommend using with the Stampin' Right markers. I'm also going to cheat a little bit. I am actually going to perhaps use the odd ink pad and it's just purely for speed because sometimes it's easier, easier to do that. So to start off with, I'm going to cut my cardstock down and these pieces were cut a few months ago when I was doing some workshops with kids and so these pieces of card are cut so that all I have to do is cut once and uh, I've basically got my matting layer so I have here very vanilla and basic white which is the kind of card color oh I cut three through three then the, the cardstock that I would always recommend that you stamp onto if you're doing um very detailed stamping now obviously the other day i did stamp on crumb cake uh, but that was because i really wanted to have that crumb cake background right i'm going to disappear now because i am um i am going to duck my head down and get working so stamping right markers they are a water-based pen and they come in every colour of ink that Stampin' Up! do. Okay, so that's all the regals plus the current in colours. So you can purchase a pack of the in colours, you know, you get five in each. So that's quite a good way to, you know, to purchase a few colours in one go. 
so now the benefit of using them is because they're water-based they don't dry immediately like the alcohol markers so you can do some direct to stamp techniques so for example here we've got that lovely tree actually tom used this last friday this is weird i'm getting deja vu because tom used it so say we wanted a really nice kind of autumnal looking tree what we could do just to make life a bit easier and quicker for me i'm going to grab some crushed curry and get some crushed curry onto my stamp there just looking around for a stamp mat Now, before I then put my stamp to the paper or the cardstock, I'm going to grab out ooh, a bit of pumpkin pie, maybe a bit of Calypso coral. And this is one of my favourite techniques. It's called the thumping technique. <laughs> and uh, you're going to know why I call it the thumping technique in a second. Um, let me just get my camera there. There we go okay so oh you got a sun hat and some shorts for new orleans awesome yay <laughs> fantastic so pleased oh okay so the reason i call it a thumping technique is what i do it's like this is when i pretend to be an old time movie star and uh, i hold it between my fingers as if i'm going to take a big drag of cigarettes and um basically the reason i hold it like that is so that i can wiggle it you see how that's so easy to wiggle I mean, some people might find it easy. I don't know. No, it's not actually. No, it's easy to do that. I'm just going to pull out a little bit. Um, yeah, so you can see how it's like, you know, you can pretend to be Audrey Hepburn if you want. Okay, and then the reason I call it thumping is because you literally, you thump then the pen up and down. Like that. And you move it around fairly randomly, but keeping it onto the stamp, obviously. Like that, and you just thump it. Can you hear the thump? Thump, 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 thump. See? Thumping technique. And I'm going to do a bit of Calypso Coral now. Same technique. Thump, 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 thump. See? I'm just going to pounce that on like so. Oh, the dog is in labour. Okay, Shaz, no worries. See how she does. How long do doggy labours usually last? Okay, I think we'll do a row of trees. So I'm just going to turn my paper that way. So when you've done that, uh, should we do the odd? Oh, should we put a little bit of red in there? Put a bit of cherry cobbler. Thump, thump, thump. Oh, by the way, I forgot to say right at the beginning, these pens have two ends. We have the thinner end, this is the bit that's great for writing with, and then we have the brush tip end, which is great for, you could do brush writing, it's very good for brush writing actually, but also great for colouring and thumping. And so you have a thin line on this side to show that that's the smaller end, and then you've got the thicker line there to show that that's the brush end. So yeah, thump, 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 it's very, very relaxing. Just, you know, thump away. Oh, you twanged your left calf muscle. <sighs> Ouch. Okay. Then, before stamping, you have to do the famous F. The famous F. The, the reason I call it the famous F is because I think I first saw this technique by uh, France Martin, uh, Frenchy Stamps. And she has that delightful French accent, doesn't she? And she goes, you have to F on it. So we F. And then we put the stamp on the card. And then we push it down. And we wait for the results of the thumping. Ta-da! We have a gorgeous autumnal tree. Isn't that gorgeous? Okay, so I wonder if we can do something with the branches we don't not that we need to thump on the branches but i think it would be nice to do a bit of variation 
So I'm going to take two browns and I'm going to colour, ooh, colour the branches I think in soft suede, so very easily and quickly just go with the lines that are there like so. Da, 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 da. There we go. And there we go. Oh, that one down. I can't remember if I did that. And then do some darker brown for the the trunk like that. Might have some coming up into there. And then we do the famous earth. <laughs> now, adding, now adding markers to my wish list, says Wendy. Oh, bless you. And there we have our lovely branch. Okay, so I want to just show you also, I'm going to just grab a stamp from another stamp set. Shall we do a little bit of that sort of thing on here this time oh I don't know we could have a little bit of just looking at that image there what sort of colors could we go for we could go for sort of soft suede across here and then I'm thinking some nice dark green you know for the shrubs with maybe a little bit of yellow in them because if it's supposed to be autumn so I'm going to colour all that in, soft suede, and you know, I'm really holding the pen pa almost parallel to the stamp to do that. I'm not holding it upright, I'm holding it parallel so that I get the most amount of the brush tip there on onto my stamp. And then I think a little bit of Mossy Maggio would be good for this. And I'm just going to turn it round so that it's a bit easier for me. I'm just going to add some mossy meadow then to these shrubs. Happy little shrubs. This is such a Bob Ross stamp set, isn't it, really? Happy little deer, happy little trees. Okay, now, the only problem with going in with a lighter... Ooh, stay... A lighter colour after I've put green on is that it will want to look see how the green now is on the yellow so I have to kind of whoop, clean off my pen a little bit every so often after after you kind of going on with it so look just clean it off because as I said it's water based and um yeah, the colour just wants to kind of gravitate to whatever you're using. <laughs> oh, no, I don't need my mat now, do I? <laughs> you have me on the big screen. Oh, lovely. Hello, Levine. Well, lovely to see you. How are you? It's been a while. Yeah, there we go. So we've got our two-coloured piece there. I think we need a little bit more on this side. Just going to very quickly do a bit on here. Again, with a mossy meadow. And then with the crushed curry. And remember to clean it off. Oh, half. <laughs> Got an F. How cool is that? How cool is that? You can see it on the screen. 
<laughs> Hi, Julie Bennett. Are you excited, Dawn? Is that the first time you've done that? <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's just a really simple technique, the, the what I call the thumping technique that you can do with that. Now, I had a look at this stamp earlier and thought, oh, this would be really fun to colour in. Do some really fun, happy kind of, oh no, I need a bigger block for that happy colouring on this so now this might take me a few moments to do but what if we pick out oh Bermuda Bay Pacific Point and maybe a bit of coastal I don't know let's try that and actually just colour in different areas of the flower I mean I think this stamp set is quite what's the word i want sort of modern in a way with all these kind of lines in it and stylized that's the word i wanted stylized but i thought oh wouldn't it be fun to actually do do something with it and make use of these gorgeous lines that are in here so I'm just kind of moving around and just adding little spots here and there. And again, the benefit of the watercolour, sorry, water-based ink is that it doesn't dry too quick, you know. I mean, I'm going pretty fast because I don't want to bore you, but... Um, you, you don't have to go as fast as what I'm doing. You can take your time a little bit more. Oh, I just realised I asked Shaz a question and I didn't see the answer. I need to go back and scroll and see the answer. Oh. Lana. Shaz, 8 to 24 hours. Oh, uh, okay. And do you need to be attentive to the to the dog the whole time? Or do you, can you leave her to it? I haven't done Pacific already, have I? No. You know what? Maybe I should have started with the dark one first because... Oh, let me just pop that there. Oh, that's a bit better. I can see what I'm doing now. Now, I'm doing these stripes now, but I'm wondering, actually, there's another thing I could do where you start with light in the middle and work your way out and make it dark. That would be fun as well. You know, I'm not sure which bits I've done and which bits I've not done yet. Hmm, I think, I, I think I'm there. I'm just going to have to go for it. And if, if it's not done, it's fine. I'll just chalk it down to a bit of experience. Hi, Ivy. First pup will be very soon. Ruth can name the first one. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, no, I can't. That's too much pressure. That's too much pressure. Oh, look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I like that. I can't cope with the naked centres of these. Gotta have, gotta have the centres in them. Do 
she might be all done by the morning. Well then, just have a cup of coffee and join the class, Shaz. <laughs> I don't think you'll be in any fit state to stamp. Right, so for those of you who have paid and are coming to class, I will be sending out the Zoom information straight after this live. So don't panic if you think, I haven't had it yet. Don't worry, I've not sent them out yet. Okay. So there we go. That's the centres. Let's have a wee play then with, oh, should we play with colouring some of these leaves in? Now, I think I might do a bit of Coastal Cabana throughout. And a little bit of Granny Apple Green. Should we go up the centre and into just the beginning of the leaves. <sighs> oh, isn't that lovely? So subtle, so nice. I'll try that again so i know actually you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to do coastal cabana on the edges of the because i ended up wasting it in a way because i put the granny apple green through it so coastal on the edges granny up through the middle and then up through the leaf there like that let's try that again Oh, now, I don't know why it was darker last time. It might have been that I hadn't cleaned my stamp off. It is known, it is well known, that Ruth doesn't always clean her stamps. So, see, look, I'm putting it straight back in without cleaning it. I will, Shirley, I will. Yeah, that is that is one that I need to schedule. Because uh, there are a few people wanting to do to do that one. Well, sorry, that that is one that is popular. Sorry, no, I'm, I don't know. I'm just talking without thinking. Um, that is one that is popular. So yes, I have thought I should re reschedule that one. Right. So that was Granny Apple Green on the edges, and then <sighs> Pacific going up through the middle, just to see what it looks like. Okay. It's not really advised that you leave the pen lids off, but. I'm trying to work fast. So. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Right, let's get that little cluster of flowers out. And we're going to go for Pacific, I think on these and 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 a little bit of night of navy oh let's do pouncing thumping not pouncing thumping thump, 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 thump. there we go just to get a little bit of extra darkness happening on there Got a few there second generation you can do second generation stamping with with these as well when you colour it in this way. Now, second generation stamping always looks better with red rubber. I'm sure somebody could explain to me why that is. I think it's, it's obviously to do with the material and how ink sort of sits on it and comes off it to the paper how it transfers ink and all the rest of it so have you got dates for the quite craft technique i do yes the oh hold on the first date i get i gave my class the other day i realized afterwards that i'd be in new orleans <laughs> so 16th of august for the craft white ink class 16th of August. Rest well, Janice. 
after your busy day of retail therapy. Right, one more of these. Then I want to do something else. Thump, 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 thump. Okay. Just want to put a few more in here. Okay. Right. So that was nice. I enjoyed doing that. So what I wanted to do was now try a slightly different way of colouring in the uh, stamps. Let's get rid of these colours. Let's go for something else. Should we go for something a bit more I don't know, purpley? Now I don't actually have the in colour markers. Um, I haven't bought them for quite a while actually. Maybe that needs to go on my wish list. Oh, a huge thank you to some of you who've PayPal'd me donations recently. That, sorry, that's PayPal'd me directly. Um, thank you so much. I really do appreciate your the way that you are so kind of appreciative of me and what I do. And sometimes it, <laughs> um, I, I've it's been an interesting journey getting to the point where I don't feel guilty making money out of something <laughs> not making money but having an income from a job I enjoy um, because even though I enjoy what I do it is also a job um, and you know I and I know you you know you obviously enjoy what I do here but this is a part of what I do you know you don't see all the you know parceling up stuff you don't see some of the you know the playing behind the scenes with products you know in order to show you what to, you know what to do you know you don't see the correspondence you know so that you know it all takes up time obviously that any job normal job would so I really am so grateful when people um, show appreciation because it, it it just helps me to kind of keep going in what I do and and it also helps me um, as you know outside of stamping up it in in the person that i am to be functioning well as well as i can as a wife and a mother and also a church member and a community member so that i can be flexible with my time and being able to you know be there for other people uh, and the community for example um so yeah thank you thank you so much because it, it just validates for me it validates what i do uh and and it's it's for me it's a, it, it's just that sign uh for me from god that that i'm kind of doing the right thing for now you know might not always be this way but oh sorry i should do this uh but for now this is what i'm meant to be doing so it's all good all good stuff okay sorry what i did was i grabbed out what's this blushing bride i just grabbed a pink and I coloured the inside portion with the pink. And then I'm going around with Highland Heather around the middle area of the flower now. And then I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape. And I'm actually going to swipe. I'm, I'm being a bit more careful. Sorry, the reason I'm going to move that off there. Oh, no, I'll put it on here. is because I've got, I've managed to get a bit of, tear and tape on the back of my block and I need to clean it so I'm just being a bit more careful with this process now and I'm just pulling colour from the outside of the flower in and I'm trying to follow the lines of the stamp if that makes sense so oh no it's easier for, it's easier for me to go up down up down up from the top down so to create a more feathery kind of look so, so that's what I'm doing so I'm just turning the stamp as I go there we go so. oh night Shirley take care sleep well Uh, but also
also I, I i must say that guys you know i i have said this before my channel and i think i'm going to say it again because there's been quite a few new folks joining if you are at a stage in your life where you know life circumstances means that you know finances are a bit tight and you can you can't donate that is absolutely fine please don't feel that you have to um that's what i love about the platform of youtube that is is that you know it it allows me to share what i love so that you can just enjoy it and there is an absolutely super duper easy free way for you to show love to me <laughs> Um, and that is just by giving me a thumbs up and commenting after the video. So if if you are in that position where you just go, you know what, you know, for whatever reason, or you're already a demonstrator, you, you're already, you you purchase products for yourself and that, that's absolutely fine. Um, just a really, really helpful way is just for you to give me a thumbs up. Okay, so I think I would say that the pink is a little bit pale for this technique. So I'm going to try it again, but this time I'm going to use, I think, the Highland Heather. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. To save a bit of time, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to get Highland Heather ink pad and do that. Just, it's just to save time. If you if you want to do if you haven't got the ink pad and you've only got the pens, that's fine. Just do it with the pens. So here we go. Just do the feathering. That way. Actually, I tell you what, I really would like to do is do a little bit of yellow for a bit of drama on the inside. Okay, let's try that. I think I might prefer that. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> I hope someone hasn't just... <laughs> Can you imagine someone just tuned in then and heard me puffing away? <laughs> Be like, what is this channel? What is she doing? Oh, I forgot to do the yellow. Anyway, let's give it a moment to... Dry. And then you will see, I think, the difference. Can you see the difference in colour? There we go. When I wasn't sure if I wanted the new ink colours, I would buy them. What, the the ink pads? Oh, just realised something. What I'm showing on screen isn't quite correct. Haha, <laughs> sorry about that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What is going on here? That's better. Just realised my screen wasn't quite correct. There we go. So in the top left corner, do you think it's okay for me to be sharing the 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 current live view account? It is quite fun, isn't it, to have that in the corner? Yes, thank you, Vicky. And share with your crafty friends or wannabe crafty friends. Absolutely, because. Um, Friday nights I try and do sort of simpler fun techniques yeah right oh I've just thought of an idea gets me creative juices going where's the rays of light oh this is a perfect one to So, hmm. just for a bit of fun, humour me, humour me. I will though, let me just clean that off, I will do some yellow centers because i forgot to do the yellow inside there didn't i just a bit of, a wee bit of crushed curry 
because crushed curry is such a lovely warm yellow. Just mix it with a little bit of Pacific Point because I used that earlier. And I didn't clean my stamp properly. There we go. Okay, a little bit of yellow. This reminds me of Shaz name a pup thumper since Ruth is doing thumping. <gasps> That's a good idea. That is a really good doggy name, isn't it? Thumper. They travel better. That is a really good tip. Oh, I'd like to do some ombre yellow. So I'm going to grab, what's this? So saffron, daffodil delight, crushed curry and some mango, mango melody. Right, so a wee bit of so saffron. I do love an ombre, I have to say. I do love a bit of ombre. Ombre. So saffron, bit of daffodil. Now, please, please don't ever try this technique with your alcohol pens, okay? They will not work. And the reason is because alcohol pens have alcohol in them and they are designed to pretty much dry on impact with your paper. <sighs> So, therefore, that's why it makes them fantastic to blend with, because no liquid is really kind of happening on your paper. Now, I think, again, I forgot to clean my stamp properly, but never mind. We'll, we'll do this again. I quite enjoyed doing this. This is very therapeutic, I have to say, for me. Just little bit of colouring of the stamps like so and you know what if you know how to colour you'll know how to do this honest 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 yes and thumper was the name of bambi's rabbit friend yes what colour is your dog shaz and what what colour was what colour's mum and what colour's dad Ah, oh, I should have done second and third generation on that one, shouldn't I? Isn't that fun? Look at that. Oh, love it. Right, let's start again. I like to spray the stamp with water after I colour them to get a water colour lose. Elizabeth, did you really mean to type lose? I don't. What does Cindy say? Thumper. Oh yes, I've read that already. No, I'm jo I'm joking with you, um, Elizabeth. I know you didn't mean to type blues. What did you mean to type? Liver and white. All oh, mine are the same colour. Liver. What colour is liver then? Is that? I presume it's a brownie colour, brownie ready colour, perhaps. Look, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Elizabeth. I was like, lose? <laughs> She's got watercolour, lose? <laughs> he said, if you can't say nothing nice, don't say nothing at all. Is that what Thumpus says in Bambi? Oh. Wow, he's so true. Oh, I love I'm loving this technique. Really, really loving it. So for those of you who haven't seen me cut up my rays of light stamp set, there is a video. There is evidence of me doing this. And if this doesn't encourage you to do it, I don't know what will. So occasionally on this channel, we do do a bit of stamp surgery. 
and it's okay it's all right uh, no stamps die if anything stamps are giving a new lease of life there we go uh, so exciting will you name one ray <laughs> that's a good idea the english springer spaniels oh yeah we have thumper ray or ray maybe raymond everyone loves raymond i had a friend called ray i think we used to call him raymondo So this Rays of Light stamp set, stamp, just coming back to the stamps briefly, I quite like it because it's not completely solid. There's some, it's almost like there's little scrapes in it, which I actually quite like. Right, because I've, I know I forgot to do second generation here, I'm just going to go and carry on from what I did here. Like that. Like that. There. And then maybe just add, no, let's just add another one in here. There we go. I am loving this. Really, really love it. I promised Esther she could name one. Ah, oh, brilliant. Yeah, she'd love that. Right. Um, hmm. <laughs> oh, I know what I haven't done yet. I haven't used any of these little wee flowers. Little wee flowers. Right. Uh, mm. Oh, uh, what colour? Maybe a bit of Blackberry Bliss. Get something really dark on there, I think. Hello, Miss Pamela. Hello, hello. It does, uh, yeah, it adds a really nice bit of texture to it, Shaz. Yeah, it does. I'm just going to take a squig of my drink. A, a skig? A squig. <laughs> a, a, a swig. Oh, can you tell I had a little bit of wine earlier? Well, did I tell you last night that my my son and his girlfriend were going to cook tea? I think I did. Anyway, very nice it was too. So they cooked a paella with a spicy chorizo. Did I say that right? Chorizo. Chorizo. Got to do the sh chorizo. And... Uh, I thought I had frozen peas in the freezer, but uh, when it came to it, uh, I realised I hadn't, even though I said to my son I did. So they put sweet corn in instead, which was very nice, Bright brightened it up. It had red peppers and onion and chicken and the chorizo, chorizo. Oh dear, someone's going to have to correct my pronunciation. And, ooh, and then because they were being very, very considerate of any of my children who perhaps wouldn't enjoy the paella, they decided to, to put a couple of pizzas in the oven too. So um, there was plenty to go around and it was very tasty and although uh, Luke's girlfriend was like oh I meant to get a different type of uh, not as spicy chorizo oh dear I've got to stop saying that and um, but it actually it, it was lovely it was for me it was the right amount of heat really it was fine and I just I, oh I just happened to have some a bag of like salad mixed salad in the fridge so that was good and then I made a quick um, 
little coleslaw, I guess. It was like a cabbage-free coleslaw I made with a... Oh, should we try a different green? Let's try a bit of bit garden green. Yeah, should we do that? A bit of garden green. I I have this really cool peeler that's got these kind of like serrated blades. And when you peel, you, you just peel in a normal way and it makes, it shreds, it juliennes the... I've just realised I need to plug in my phone before I run out of battery. Oh, the guys were meant to remind me. I was, oh, I was at 2%. Oh my goodness, I was at 2%. Shoricho. Thank you, Didi. Shoricho. Um, oh, I'm going to try and use a fine liner and see if I can get a, fine, a finer line on here. <sighs> Sorry, I've forgotten what I was saying now. Oh, the, right, yeah, so what I did was put half a courgette, or zucchini, for those of you who don't call it a courgette. Yeah, so half a zucchini, or courgette, so I um, used the special peeler on that. Two sort of small-ish, small to medium carrots, and then an apple cut very finely and then a sprinkle of almond flakes left over from the other Sunday when I made coronation chicken they were just you know they're there in my pantry so I thought let's use those and some mayonnaise I have to say it was very tasty I really liked it. I will be doing that again. So, yes, and then some pizza as well. I'm not sure that the my efforts to colour in. Oh, hold on, hold on. Have I been doing the wrong colour? <laughs> I've mixed up the lids. Oh, this little bit of fluff keeps making an appearance on my table. I keep swiping it away and it keeps coming back. Okay, so that's with shaded spruce. No, garden green and shaded spruce. But I'm going to try a shaded spruce one now. Because this is a little bit more bluey. Bluer, this colour. Although really, I should be doing the darker colours inside and then going lighter going towards the outside but never mind yeah and then we had leftover i had i'd made oh yeah so during the week because i was a bit naughty i hadn't made my th third son uh, a birthday cake when it was his birthday on sunday you know what i'm going to do i'm just going to do a bit of stottage and splatter because this is the other thing you can do with the stamping right markers are you ready for this you can get the brush tip in the pen lid and you can go flick, flick, click, click and get instant dotage. There you go. Or dotage. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I hadn't made him a birthday cake. And for the first time in my life last year, I made a pavlova and I thought, ooh. And then I did it for church the other day. And I just wanted to practice a bit more and I wanted to show May how to do it. So I made a, a smaller pavlova. And so I got the eggs out. I was like, May, come on, I want to teach you how to um, separate the egg whites from the yolks. Fortunately, I remembered to get out. Um, I'm just going to do a few little dots of yellow in here because it looks a bit naked in the middle there. I'm just going to do a few little dots there. Uh, I'd remembered that she probably could do with having like a, a rather than putting it straight into the big mixing bowl I got her to open crack open the egg and have it over a bowl well of course you know she's not the most 
uh, what's the word experienced and the most confident egg cracker so thumb goes in <laughs> and i'm like you know it goes everywhere i'm like oh great okay okay that's one egg one egg down oh, all i needed was three egg whites okay let's put that aside anyway next try um she she managed i think open it and then as she was like flopping the egg yolk from one to the other she caught it on the on the eggshell of course that one there i was like oh here we go two eggs down <laughs> oh anyway we finally managed to get the three egg yolks uh for the meringue for the pavlova and so i then i ended up with these eggs spare eggs i was like what am i gonna do with these so we made chocolate cake and it's quite it ended up being quite dense because i didn't have self-raising flour i just put extra baking powder in plain flour but anyway so and because it's been such a hot week i've just kept i've just tried to keep as much food as possible in the fridge like the bread is going in the fridge cake is going in the fridge everything's just going in the fridge because i'm i'm realizing the power of keeping things cool i guess as i'm getting older and thinking oh, i'm getting really addicted to doing these little dots sorry oh look i need to i need to fake this bit don't i a bit i need to carry that color through yeah so yeah we so tonight we had leftover chocolate oh yeah i'm just gonna brush that in like that we had leftover chocolate cake with some if anyone has an aldi near them they do a really nice like honeycomb ice cream oh oh this whole process is very addicting i'm just like i keep seeing things that i can go oh i'm just going to improve it there and here and there I'm a useless farmer's wife as I don't bake. Sorbet is a good name. <gasps> yeah, I I do that, uh, Vicky. If I I've often bought like the little mini meringues and done puddings that way because it's just, it's so useful just to have a box of meringues in the store cupboard and then all you need is some fruit and cream. I totally get that. But now I've actually tasted the meringue when you make it yourself and you bite into it and it's like marshmallowy in the inside. Oh, oh my goodness. It's so nice. So nice. So it, it is worth the effort if you've got the time. Is that Daffodil Delight? Yeah, that is Daffodil Delight. So what I'm doing is the first generation stamping that I did earlier, I'm just pulling in some colour from the edges and... and making it a bit more vignette that's what it's called when you have darker edges it just makes a bit of a difference more darker oh this is a technique i'd love to show my ladies in in person but because it would take them so long to do i might have to try and think of a design that i could do that wouldn't take them so long can you imagine if they they would all be fighting over the you know sitting there coloring in it, it just would take too long i wonder if i can do like a smaller version with just like one flower one ray of light <laughs> I think I did the wrong one there, but never mind. Oh, I love it. So different. The shop bought bases do have a marshmallow texture. Oh, okay. I've not um I've never bought like a big base meringue before. Maybe yeah. I've only ever bought like the mini ones. So yeah, no, I can I can believe that, Vicky uh hi ruth just tuned in and wondering why you're not using a dotage stamp um the clue for that answer heidi is in the title um i'm trying to show a few techniques with the stamping right markers 
so <clears throat> even though I have pulled in some ink pads I'm just every time I think oh I can do that with a stamping right marker I'm trying to show you how to do that so but that's the reason so there we go <gasps> she's pushing is this pup number one or two we could have like a live birth on my channel <laughs> <laughs> Shaz, you should do like a birthing, a doggy birthing channel. <coughs> We'd all be there. I used to watch. I got quite addicted to watching. Um, there's a sheep farmer lady in America, um, and she would share videos of like sheep birthing, and and her looking after the lambs. Yes, it would, Barbara. Maybe I could do a class, like a Zoom class, maybe, because I think people would have to have their own own things. Unless what I could do is a class that included a pack of pens and maybe one of the, a stamp set. Like the Ray of, Rays of Light stamp set with a pack of pens. That would be a good class, wouldn't it? Like a class in the post. Ooh, that's an idea. Hi, Sandra. Ooh, pup number one. Here comes Thumper. I don't think I've had a live dog birth on my channel before. I mean, if we're if I'm still going, if when she gives birth, you're more than welcome to send me a photo. I can show everybody. Shall I keep going? Okay, so for those of you who've just joined, these are the this is what I did earlier. And then I did the thumping technique. So this is why we're talking about this dog being called the thumper. Um because I do the thumping technique here. Right. Now the other stamp set that I thought would be interesting to colour is this one. Because <clears throat> It's just got so many sort of levels of texture to it already. Um, yeah, what do you think, guys? Although I'll probably just have to pull up a picture of a bear to make it worthwhile. Let me have a look. Um, bear, bear. Bear, brown bear. Oh, there's actually a famous person called Bear Brown, and that's what they're showing me. Okay, fair enough. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're lovely, sort of, some of them are real lovely reddish colour. We don't really have that colour. Hmm. Well, we could make it. We could make that colour. So, things are getting a little bit messy on my desk right now. But I'm going to just keep going. I wonder if I ink him up in soft suede. And then get a bit of red on him. Wonder what would happen. Markers are great to take away on holiday. Less room, and you can't take all of them. And you you can take all of them, I guess. Is that what you're trying to say, Vicky? You could take all of them. Oh, enjoy, Mary. Oh. Hi there, just getting ready to go look at a place to possibly buy. Oh, exciting, Heidi. Oh, yes, no more typing. You've got to get your hand better. See you later. Okay, so this is actually really, when you actually look at this stamp, you can kind of see the darkest points so I'm aiming kind of the red for the darkest areas on here 
I'm not going to do his eyes red, but I'm doing under his eye. And there we go. It's kind of like quite nice because it's in keeping with what's already on there, really. Oh, let's get a bit of what was that? Real red. So let me try a bit of poppy parade in these nicer areas. Sorry, I'm getting buzzed. Someone's sending me messages, I think. Is that you, Shaz? Have you just messaged me or something? Who's messaged me? Ah, uh, <laughs> I've just had the message. Yeah, I've just read it. Thank you. Um, I'm just going to check to see if... Sorry, bear with, guys. I'm just sorting something out on... I was signed into the wrong person on Facebook. Um, okay. uh, yeah, got it, Glenna. Thank you. <laughs> I've got so many windows. <clears throat> Water's just broke. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. <laughs> Brings back memories. <laughs> right. Do you think I should do any more to this? Should we just see what it looks like? I'll just stamp it up there <sighs> covid breath no i'm joking i haven't got covid <laughs> right are we ready let's see what's happening ready ah okay right so I'm wondering whether to do it in early espresso. I wonder if that would be better. Let's try that again. I almost want some of the colour to mix. So I'm going to deliberately kind of mix some of it. I want it to be brownie red. So I'm kind of like putting the red down, but I'm also mixing it. What's going on with my chat? Hi Ruthie. Oh Ruthie, what a shock. Oh. Oh my goodness. That's not very nice at all. Okay, let's see what this is like. 
Amen, Lucy. Amen. Right. Let's see what happens. I've not tried this before, so it, it could just be the wrong type of technique, but we'll just see. Oh, that's a bit interesting. Yeah, so it seems to have mixed a bit better. Oh, well, let me know which one you prefer, guys. The soft suede or the early espresso one. Just gives him a little bit more. I know what, let's compare it to just stamping in. Oh, I know what. I'll, oh, I know what, I'll stamp him on here. In just early espresso, so you can see the difference. Yeah, I don't know. I suppose it just depends on the context in which you're stamping, really, as to which one you prefer. Um, I, I can't say either way, like I prefer one over the other, but I do I do like the idea of being able to put multiple co multiple colours on one one image. I think it looks cool. So there we go. Um, I think whether to. I was thinking. Let me just. I, I want to finish with a flower because I think that's. And I know because I know that would work. Um, I'm just going to try. And perhaps design something that could be used. For a, a card class. I just. Um, I cut out some of these. I was thinking of how I could use this technique for a class so that, you know, not everyone's hanging around waiting for for the stamp. I guess we could, you know, one person could have this one and then someone else could have that one because what, we, what we're trying to do is just stamp in maybe a corner. Um, I'm trying to think what colours we could use. I'm trying to have a think of what... DSP I've got that would go with it. So I'm just having a quick look. I very helpfully participated in Wendy's paper share, so I've got a few of the different. Actually, this masculine paper, this is quite nice, isn't it? I, I quite like sometimes putting, having masculine paper and then just having a floral. Okay, right, I might have got enough of that. So we can go with something quite girly and pinky if we want to. So if we just use the two pinks we've got flirty flamingo i'll just put flirty flamingo on the inside there then melon mambo
Oh, she's doing all right. Okay. Has she has she had pups before? Shaz. Pretty, isn't it? <clears throat> So that's a bit of crushed curry centre there. And then, I don't know if one of these... I don't know if that would be a bit too complicated. And this time go for greens. Let me give this a quick clean. Go for a bit of pepper zars. I guess I don't have to colour to the end either, do I? So pepper zars. Granny apple green. Actually, just do two colours. That'll be enough, won't it? Just do one, two. Now, is there a smaller leaf? No, there isn't. Okay, there isn't a smaller leaf. So... Hmm. Um, oh, maybe some orange flowers. Oh, just realised, I think I used that on blue last time. Yes, I did. <laughs> Can you tell? Oh, dear. Right, let's clean that off. <laughs> she had one litter before a couple of years ago. Oh. I'm just going to clean that. There we go. going to clean my pen off because I can see I've got a bit of blue on the end of there now. So let's go in with the orange again. So this is Mango Melody. So if you're joining recently, if you're just rejoining me, I'm doing techniques with stamp and write markers and very much about direct to paper techniques. Sorry, direct to stamp techniques. There we go. Well, that's quite fun. So I was thinking of that on a... Maybe punching out the same in pink and doing a pink frame or something. Anyway, I'll have a think about that one. I just wanted to finish off doing a flower because flowers make me happy. Right, I'll just recap then a couple of the different things that I've done. So we've been using the Stampin' Write markers to colour in stamps directly and before stamping them onto the cardstock. So I've used very vanilla on some and with a basic white on others. So this one here, I inked the stamp. I, I put, I think I used crushed curry on it, didn't I? Yeah, so I used crushed curry ink so um got crushed curry onto there and then used what's called a thumping technique so i used uh pumpkin pie calypso coral and i think it was a little bit of real red and so i basically just thumped all over the tree 
and then stamped it to get that gorgeous kind of autumnal effect and then when I coloured in my uh, trunk I use soft suede and early espresso and then use that lovely stamp from grassy grove this one the grove the grassy knoll as I always call it and put soft suede on there and put a bit of mossy meadow and a bit of yellow for the, the sort of vegetation -y bits and that's that's the effect of that in the background there behind the bear so the, the reason I stamped the bear later on was just to compare it with me trying to add colour to the bear so this was stamped in early espresso and then I put real red and poppy parade in various areas and this one was stamped in soft suede and then again real red and poppy parade so I don't know it's up to you which one you prefer I, I think I prefer the early espresso one I think maybe because it's just a bit darker but that was my attempt to make like a red reddish brown color so then with this stamp here this is from bear with oh there it is heavenly hollyhocks this one here and I thought it was just really fun it kind of lent itself to being coloured in this way so this one I very much tried to follow the the stripes so this is coastal cabana with Bermuda Bay and some Pacific Point and again directly pen to stamp then stamp to paper uh, with the all-important huff and then we've got leaves here coloured in with Bermuda uh, Coastal Cabana and Granny Apple Green and Pacific Point and Granny Apple Green just to show you the, the variation there. So that's the effect of that. And then this one here, we've gone to town a little bit where I used Gorgeous Grape on the edge of the stamp and Highland Heather on the inside of the stamp, then stamped Crush Curry Centres and then used my cut up rays of light stamp to put the four yellows so we've got so saffron daffodil delight crush curry and mango melody and colored it stamped it and then stamped second third generations around in various places i just really love the effect of that and being able to color those in so easily really really easy so there you have it guys i said i was going to be a bit a bit quicker tonight but i i haven't really oh gosh one hour 20. oh dear oh dear never mind I, it's because I, I got into it and i just was really enjoying the process so there we go my apologies i thought it was going to be a short one so, yeah so do have a play with your stamping right markers and it, it it just really creates quite a this you know this technique creates quite a dramatic effect really so there we go oh yes yeah, so yeah Shaz's dog's uh, dog is giving birth currently uh, as I'm, I'm on the live but uh, we were hoping that we might have sight of one but uh, if uh, if not in the next few minutes then I'm sure Shaz will put a photo in Artful Stamping Space for us so do click have a look at the links below there's links to my online shop where you can purchase the markers and the stamps there's also links to my uh, facebook groups and so on and let me just see if i can grab up my email address if you want to email me then just email me ruthtrice at gmail.com <clears throat> if you've got any questions Oh, Hummer, I'm so sorry. I'm just about to go. Um, had to leave for a bit in the middle. I was glad I was able to make it back to the end. Oh, thank you, Monica. Thank you so much. And uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, so if, uh, if there's anyone who wants to do sort of last minute bookings for tomorrow's class, um, I do have... Uh, so I can get that up. Yeah, so I do have a class tomorrow at 10 a.m. So basically, uh, whatever the time is now, plus nine and a half hours. So it's called the Clusters and Lines Workshop, and you'll learn how to stamp a whole sheet 
two whole sheets of very beautiful paper and it's £20 so some of you have booked on there and I will see you in less than 10 hours time I need to get some sleep in between now and then and no apologies necessary I for one was just carried away with your creative process oh thank you well, I'm glad the time went by for you as quick as it went by for me <laughs> oh and of course if you want a copy of the catalogue please email me and i'll be happy to send oh i've just realized that email that i've got there is a different font than the one i had on the other side oh okay right i need to i need to sort of figure out a way of uh, making this all a little bit more oh oh i don't know what i've just done am i still live yeah, I was chatting to my, my son earlier. I was like, how do I get that thing up when, you know, people super chat and it comes up on the screen? He's like, yeah, yeah, you can do that. Oh, you, da, da, da. Um, and he said, oh, you know, I know how to use Streamlabs. I'm like, do you? He said, yes, that's what I used to use. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, so um, I'm going to have to enlist my son's help to get using this a bit better. So I'll come and say uh, uh, goodbye I think oh wait for my my camera to adjust to the lighting there we go that's a bit better a bit harsh yeah I need to put some lighting in front of me so that when when I use the camera here um, the because at the moment I have it's quite harsh lighting from up my ceiling lights so I was wondering whether to get a little bunch of fairy lights in front of me so that um yeah the contrasts <laughs> the shadows <laughs> not so obvious <laughs> so oh look there's a bot there's a bot there's a bot there's a bot 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 oh i can't delete them off here um where's my my admins thank you thank you vicky um i'm just going to hide them on the channel as well thank you oh i'm sorry hummer yes you are thank you thank you thank you oh, oh yes you can if yeah if it if if yeah if it's a girl you can have the heidi's yeah i'm just ch checking yeah we've got two heidi's on tonight but we do have a fair amount of heidi's coming yes do enjoy the replay we killed them, said Glenna. We killed the bots. Down with the bots. <laughs> sorry. It's late. I'm sorry. I, I become very silly. At the... <laughs> Those of you who've not met me before. When I get tired, I get very silly. Uh, poor Janice is going to have to uh, we'll, we'll experience that. Right. Lots of love to you all. Mwah. Have a fabulous weekend. And I'm about to go and send the Zoom information to everybody who's already booked on the class. Uh, and if overnight you decide, you know, while I'm in bed, that you decide you would like to participate in the class, then um, just email me. And uh, if you want, yeah, if you want to just make the payment so that you know that you're in, then you could always just PayPal me directly. There's a link in the description and you can just click on that. PayPal, PayPal me £20. That's the price of the class. Okay. Lots of love to you all. Have a great weekend. Bye.